Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Wherever there is love, there there is celebration. Friends, just as the Lenten rigor is reaching a crescendo and we have Good Friday coming up tomorrow, we see today the church bursts out in celebration. The altar is flooded with flowers as we celebrate Maundy Thursday, the Holy Thursday. And we see the whole power, the whole current of celebration is because today is a day where the Lord institutes love as the commandment of our life. It is on Maundy Thursday that Jesus gave this commandment to every disciple saying that I give you a new commandment that you shall love one another as I have loved you and you will be known as my disciples by your love. Today is also the day when Jesus instituted priesthood and he gave this absolutely scandalous and revolutionary idea of authority as an authority that bows down in service to wash the feet of those whom they serve. Until this day, it is still to be comprehended and appreciated in its true and full measure. Today is a day when Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist, where we shall celebrate as a memorial, a God who dines with us and a God who remains present to us in the form of bread. Truly, where there is love, a life becomes a celebration. So this morning at the dining table, we were discussing what would we do if we knew we had only 24 hours to live. And that's when one of our team members was talking about how he would rush home to be with those who are closest to him, his family. And that is when the other person said, no, I would not want my family to see me die. So I would call them and I would express to them how much I love them, how grateful I am to them. And that's when a third one said, I would settle all my accounts. There are people to whom I owe something and people who owe me something. A very practical guy, so he would settle his accounts. And then one of us spoke about how we would like to keep our room tidy so that when they come to clear our belongings, they wouldn't have too many things to complain about. And then there was this other person who said, well, I think I am ready. Whenever it is, I will just continue doing what I am doing because I think I'm all ready for the Lord to come and take me. And this is an echo of a boy saint who spoke about how when God comes to take him, he would continue playing his football because he knew his soul was already so attached to God. Friends, on Maundy Thursday, when Jesus knew he had only 24 hours to live, what did Jesus do? He gathered his disciples together. They had a meal together and then he bowed down to wash their feet. He realized that his final offering of love to his disciples would be to remind them that he was their master and Lord who was there to wash their feet, to serve them and to save them. And Jesus would give them this commandment, love one another as I have loved you so that you may be remembered and you may be celebrated as a person of love. Friends, the beautiful wisdom we today have come to understand more than we ever realized in the past is none of us, neither you nor me, can say for sure that we have another 24 hours to live. And therefore, Maundy Thursday is an invitation to you and me to sit back today and remember and recall who are those whose feet we need to wash, who are those whom we need to call up and settle the scores of love. Who are those with whom we need to make peace? Today is a day when we are called to celebrate love, 
to make our lives a celebration of love and then we know indeed our lives will be a celebration friends today as the lord invites us to gaze on him washing the feet of the disciples as the lord invites us to heed that command of love as the lord assures us that we shall be known as his by our love let us today make that time to mend fences to offer peace to offer that encouragement that word of love that word of healing so that indeed we would be people whose lives are lives of celebration my dear brothers and sisters we are proceeding to a healing service we are waiting for the touch of the lord the healing touch what everyone expected when jesus went to any city any town any village any seashore but people crowded around jesus they expected our healing and their expectation of faith jesus did not fail everyone who came to him everyone who believed in him was healed and there is something beautiful in the gospels wherever jesus went it was the sick the sick and the broken hearted that jesus went in search of we find this in the synagogue in the synagogue there was a large gathering and yet the eyes of jesus fell on a man with a withered hand and jesus asked him stand up and he stood up and then jesus said reach your hand out to me he reached his hand out to jesus and the hand was restored shall we say praise the lord for that praise the lord hallelujah 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 there are many of us with a problem of the shoulders with the hand and the lord is going to ask us reach your hand out to me and we will reach the hand out to jesus in faith waiting for a miracle and the lord is a miracle worker because the one thing jesus came for as he said himself in john 3:16 confiding to nicodemus the purpose of his coming jesus said i am come that no one who believes in me should be lost no one who believes in me should be lost there was a man near the temple complex of jerusalem a place called bethesda who was lost in despair because he was defeated again and again he was a paralyzed man there was a pool there a pool of life but said the the translation is house of mercy and the belief was the water will bubble up and the first person to go down to the water will come out healed and jesus went there jesus saw this man for 38 years this man was there lying there 38 long years 
And Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed? Oh, sure, of course. If not, why was he lying down there? But no, he did not. He did not want to be healed because he knew he would not be healed. That was his experience. He said, Master, when the water bubbles up and people make a noise, I would try to crawl, but someone else would overtake me. Could be a blind person, could be a leper, because there is always someone else by the side of a sick person, but I have no one. I have no one to stand by my side, a lonely person, abandoned by everyone, defeated in life. Jesus gave his hand to him and told him, here am I for you. And this man held the hand of Jesus and got up and walked. Shall we say praise the Lord for that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 There could be someone here suffering. A family suffering. Parents having prayed for the children. But imagine there is no hope. There's no hope. Nothing is happening. The children are not restored from whatever trouble. Defeated, the pain of being defeated. And no one is there for me. No one understands me. No one stands by my side. The Lord is going to come to you. Reaching the hand out to you. Here am I for you.
into our hearts now our souls stand up to worship him to adore him the lord our savior who went about doing good to everyone wherever he went his mercy flowed out and bathed everyone in his mercy and power went out of him and healed the woman socorro marina francis vishal reynolds jennifer the lord is touching you a woman who was operated for the brain the lord is touching and perfecting the healing jesus we believe in you we believe in your power your healing power jesus we adore you Heavenly Father, you loved us so much. You sent your own Son into the world to heal us, to save us, to bind up our wounds, to come after us when we stray, when we become the wounded sheep, to come after us and to pick us up, to hold us close to his heart. Father, we love you. We worship you. We adore you, Father, we love you. You are the face of the Father turned to us. Jesus, you are the love of the Father incarnate that took flesh and come to us. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we O 
Holy Spirit, you are God with us. You are the presence of Jesus, the power of Jesus, the joy and mercy and compassion of Jesus dwelling in our hearts. Holy Spirit, Spirit, we love you. Spirit. I offer my brothers and sisters to you. Their pain I offer to you. Jesus, you carried your cross, your cross on your shoulders. Your shoulders were hurt, wounded, and you fell on the weight of the cross. You fell on your knee joints. Your knee joints were broken. Lord, you crawled under that heavy wooden cross. Every part of your body was wounded. Lord, by the merits of your wounds, I pray for my brothers and my sisters who are standing up. Lord, let your power heal them. Let your power descend upon them now. We trust in your mercy and power. Your healing power come upon them and heal them completely, O oh God. We believe in your power. We trust in your mercy. Lord, you are my hiding place. In you we trust, O oh God. You are my rock. Let us sing together, believing in that power of the Lord. And who's having the problem of the, of the raising of your hands, raise your hands up. Raise your hands up in the name of the Lord as high as you can. The Lord's power is descending, descending, descending and moving into your shoulders, your arms and your legs. And your legs, your knee joints and healing you. Feel the power and let us sing together, you're my hiding place. in you Lord for my healing I will trust I in will trust in you Lord let the weak say I am strong my Lord I am strong in the strength of my in your strength the Lord I am strong Jesus I am strong my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. You are delivering me from all my despair, from all my pain. I trust, I trust in you. In you, Lord, I trust. You're my Savior. I will trust in you. Let the weak say, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. In your strength. Praise you, Lord. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Power. 
your power, Lord. She says, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. She says, I will trust in you. Let us together, let's together praise, praise and thank our God, worshiping, thanking, thanking our God together for what God has done to every Jesus. one of us. blessing of the Lord. The Lord is blessing us and this blessing will complete our healing, complete our forgiveness, complete our deliverance, complete our liberation and fill us with the joy and love and peace of the Holy Spirit.
We have a mission. We will be in fire to go out and heal everyone. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. God is the source of all life. The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 0402231. 0000014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to Divine Retreat Center at gmail.com.